Hey guys, welcome back to American Truck Simulator. I decided to do American Truck Simulator because earlier today I tried to do some Grand Tactician and it was kind of irritating me because of some reasons. Uh, I have elected to restart because I haven't played the game in a very long time. And I'm still kind of rusty because I haven't played it in so long. So just to cool my jets a little bit, I wanted to play a calm game here. Sorry, I stayed silent there, guys. But I've been getting hung up on that uh, fire hydrant for a while now. So I want to make sure that I was paying attention to the driving while I was trying to work my way around that. For the majority of this episode, I will be talking because I want to talk to you guys as much as I can while I'm driving so that it's, I don't have to edit so much of the trip out of here. But let's talk about what happened today. We have hit 800 subscribers today and right now we're at 811. Last time I looked, I thank you guys so much for doing that. I'm going to be really praising God once we hit a thousand because that's going to be a true blessing in my book. You guys have really been a blessing to me, believe it or not. And I've been telling you guys in the comments behind of why I started putting uh, scriptures in with the channel. I primarily play video games. Yes, that's what the channel is for. But God asked me in my prayer time to acknowledge him in my channel and as a result uh, he is blessing me in it. So I know that the subscriber count that we have, yes it is you guys choosing to subscribe but you got to realize it is God acting on my behalf. Because honestly guys I don't have a way to make a living. So, my goal is to monetize the channel and make a living out of it. Not because that was my first hand goal, in the sense that it was something that I wanted to do at first. I actually originally went to school to be a preacher, but and we had some difficulties within that and so effectively I cannot uh, make a living at doing that so as a result came the birth of this channel and you know I don't want to lose focus on where my blessings come from I mean I just came from a bad place in my life to the point where I just didn't care anymore about God. You know, I was living my own life, doing my own thing, you know, just completely and utterly oblivious to God. Okay, like, if you would look at me now and you looked at me then, you know, two, three years ago, you wouldn't see the man you see today. And really, I have one person to thank for that, and that's God. I mean, he never gave up on me, even though I gave up on him. And there, there was a time where I was so angry with God, I just didn't care anymore because what I was going through was because of his name, right? And so much as I don't want to say it, 
I was kind of blaming God for everything that was happening. And in the way Wrong lane, wrong lane, hang on. This is gonna be interesting. Okay, let's uh, switch lanes here. This is gonna be illegal, but it's gonna avoid the accident here. Praise God on that one. Anyways, you know, in a way, in a way, I feel like it was his fault, but in a way, it's like, no, it's not. You know, it's the devil putting the squeeze on me because of everything that's happened to me. And the ways that I saw God work in my life, it's hard for a human being to understand what I saw, the things I experienced. And so, if I were to tell you what I experienced, you guys would probably call me crazy. And just the hardship that I've been through just put me in a very, very, very bad place. And there there is no other way of saying it. Excuse me. And you know, and now he's brought me back to my faith because of one person that's in my life right now. And that, honestly, that's Vicky. I mean, I would say that it's not something I expected. But at least for once, I don't feel all alone. At least for once, I don't feel like I'm the only one that goes through crap. And now it's the reverse. I'm trying to help her go through her stuff. But I think if I didn't go through the things that I did, I wouldn't be in a position to help her. So in other words, you know, it goes both ways. She pulls me out of my stuff, and you know, I pull her out of her stuff. And I guess that's why I really got attached to that person, because I know if it wasn't for God putting her in my life, you know, I wouldn't be back to the faith that I have now. And I know if God didn't put me in her life, you know, she wouldn't be the person she is now. Hang on, I'm gonna, there we go. I was repositioning my hand on my controller so we didn't crash here. But like, that's why I started claiming God on the channel because he came to me one time at night, not in the sense of physically seeing God, which I have done, I have physically seen the Lord. Um, but in a way, you know, I was praying one night and he said to me, he said, acknowledge me on your channel. And I said, you know, it's, at this point, because I'm not angry with you, it's not that I don't want to, but I'm afraid to send the wrong type of messages, okay? I, the channel wasn't created for religious beliefs. I mean, it just wasn't. When it says it's a gaming channel, it's a gaming channel, guys. And it can't be said any other way. And I didn't really want to send that message like, this channel is about religion. No. I still wanted to maintain uh, the fact that this channel is about gaming, okay? But like, I guess we have some sort of a hybrid channel now. Because ever since I started doing that, guys, my channel has increased by a hundred in the last 28 days and it's still going. So, 
don't ask me to, you know, say that that's not God doing what he told me he was going to do. Because the reality is, it was, it is. And so, especially when I start playing this game, we're going to be really talking about Jesus Christ while we're driving down the road. Because why the heck not? I mean, I'm just driving, so why the heck not? But I really do appreciate you guys. There's no question about it. I don't want to get this mentality of, you know, my subscribers are just a number to me. Like, I don't really care about them because they're just a paycheck at this point. Now, I only say that because as far as the subscriber count, I am really close to being paid for this. I just have to get so much watch time and I'm getting paid to do this, guys. I'm gonna pay attention here because these roads are not nice. Anyways, you know, I'm so close to being paid to do this that I don't want to get the mentality that every single one of you that subscribes to my channel is just a number, it's just a paycheck. I don't, I don't want to get like that. Because the reality is, even though there is 811 of you right now, every single one of you I care about. And there's no... There's no other way I could say it. You know, I, I truly, truly care about you guys and I know that it's kind of strange to hear that coming from somebody that you don't even know. Especially in today's world, there's a lack of love. And the scripture even says the love of many will grow cold in the last days and so what i'm trying to do before jesus christ comes back is let you guys experience that let you guys experience what love is on so many levels and that's why i let you guys see my face that's why you know i say blessings over you guys because I want you guys to know that even though a lot of you don't know who I am, I want you to know who I am. If you, if that makes sense to you. And ultimately, I want you guys to see the love of Jesus Christ in my content. You know, I want you to see him peering through me because the problem is guys that when somebody says to you that they love you it's only our instinct especially nowadays that they jump to the aspect of so sexuality and unfortunately that's not how it is that's not what love is what love really is is caring for somebody that you don't know, that you have no reason to love, okay? That's what love is. And then you get love back. I'm sowing love into you guys, and so you give me love back. Some of you guys give me hatred, yes, but it's not very often, because the truth is there are so many formats in which love can come into that it goes far beyond sexuality far beyond sexuality but this world is so perverse that that's what they think of when they think of love it's like no that's not how it is that's not how god intended it and i enjoy playing these games for you guys i really do it gives me a chance to engage with you guys and have fun doing it but the truth is that like I'm different from every single YouTube gamer out there I mean sometimes 
say some things I shouldn't, no doubt. However, what does change from me to them is that I really do care about you guys. I'm going to try to stop at this gas station as difficult as it may be because that's kind of a awkward angle to put a gas station when we're not even in the right lane to do it but I'm gonna let this guy go past. Dude, this is insane. I'm not gonna be able to do this. I'm gonna try to get to the gas station because we kinda have to. We're almost out of gas. And I realized that like a couple miles back. But I'm hesitant because this is gonna be rather difficult to do because we're kind of in the wrong lane and at this point we're not going to get it because I'm already, already working my way around unless I'm able to take a left turn up here and slide in that way. I hate that. I really hate that. They made this thing have the PlayStation 5 controls uh, which they made the turning signal the same button as the coupling thing and the engine the same button as the right turning signal. So if you hold it down for too long on accident, it either uncouples your trailer or it basically turns your truck off. It's really freaking annoying. I'm not gonna lie. All right, I need to see. No, don't back up. Oh my gosh. I need to see how I turn these windshield wipers off because, okay. I got it. Okay, I got it. Alright. So let's go ahead and make this turn. I'll try to get in the gas station here. Because I really don't want to put this off any more than we actually have to. Even though this is going to be so illegal, it's not going to be funny. We gotta find a place to rest, too. Because, see what I mean? It's hold the right arrow to shut off your engine and that's the right turning signal as well so if you hold it down for too long sometimes you accidentally you know turn the engine off even if you're not trying to actually do that that scares me a little bit that we're so tired at this point because I don't know when the next time we're gonna get a rest area but it is what it is what I'll do is I'll drive until we hit a rest area and then I'll end the episode but seriously guys back to talking about you guys and the support I, I really really do appreciate it. There, there's no way that I don't. Because on one hand, I know it's you guys choosing to subscribe and I appreciate it, but on the other hand, I know it's God like giving me favor with men. There's no, there's no question about that in my life right now. And I know a lot of you that are subscribed currently 
are Christians as well. So that's why I see you guys as part of my family because you know, I see any believer as part of my family. Even the Catholic believers I see as part of my family. Even though I have slight disagreements with them. You know, for me it's like, okay, you believe this, I don't. But I'm still going to love you as, you know, my brother and my sister. Depending on the gender that you are, right? And I think... That's what the fullness of God really is. You know, you, you hear the saying, you know, God is love. But very few of us can actually do it the way he does it. And, you know, you, you cross the denominational boundaries and it seems like sometimes all we do is go back and forth at each other. Well, I got a question for you. Is it really worth doing that? Because although I'm not Catholic, I am Catholic. Now, some of you might be thinking, what the heck are you talking about? Let me explain something, guys. The, um... And I'll explain this before I end the episode because we're coming up on a rest area real quick on the map here. But the Catholic religion is not the actual name for the religion, okay? The Catholic religion is actually called Latin Christianity. And the reason why it's called Latin Christianity it's because the Romans founded it. That's why the biggest Catholic denomination is Roman Catholic. Because the Romans founded it shortly after they crucified Jesus Christ. Okay? That's why it's called Latin Christianity. Now back to the word Catholic. You might be thinking, why is it not the religion called Catholic? Well, let me pull in here and I'll explain that to you. Anyway, I'm going to explain this to you guys before I go to sleep and uh, end the episode. But, now that we're not driving, I can take my good old time. The word Catholic is actually just a Latin word for universal church. So, in actuality, even Protestant denominations like Pentecostal Baptist, whatever you name it, we can claim to be Catholic because it is a Latin word for universal church. So in actuality, when you say I'm Catholic, all you're really saying is I'm part of the universal church, which is where the Catholics get the term the mother church, okay? Because technically it all stems from the mother church. Right? That's what it's talking about. That's what the word means. Universal church. And then it all stems from the mother church. Okay? Where it starts from the beginning. So the mother church, I guess you could say if you were going to explain it in Protestant terms. Okay? That would be the early biblical church. Okay? For Catholics, I'm sure it is similar, but just for content reasons, we'll just call their mother church stems from Rome, okay? Whereas when you're a Protestant Christian, it stems from the biblical church, the early church, quote unquote, the mother church, all right? So in actuality, we are all we all are Catholic, but we are not all Latin Christianity. See, the actual name for that religion is Latin Christianity, okay? The religion that we have, Pentecostals and everybody else that's not Catholic, we are what's called Protestant Christian. But the Catholics are actually called Latin Christian, okay? That is why 
the Catholic religion is actually not called Catholic. It is just a simple term for the, I don't want to be derogatory, but um, for the non-educated layman to understand. But the actual religion is called Latin Christianity. I hope you guys learned something and I'm gonna head out of here. God bless you guys. I love you guys. And I hope that God gives you 10 times of what he has given me for you guys. You've been a major blessing. God bless. I'm out of here. And you have a good night, guys. God bless.